live from MCC, we're on.
share in the peace of Christ, please turn to your neighbor and let them know that God's peace dwells in them. <laughs> That one I can do. I can do that. Oh, you can with you all. Please be seated. It's my arts card. Thank you for worshiping with us. For those online, we are so glad you are here. For in person attenders, please fill out the blue participation card and place it in the offering plate that will be passed later in the service. You are important to us and to the world. MCC continues to be the church, no matter what happens in the world. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Please provide your email so that we can keep you up to date and share our weekly prayers, events, and inspiration. Thank you for supporting this faith community. Your giving matters as we tear down walls and build up love. Thank you for whatever you can do. <coughs> and we have a couple announcements. Morning. Morning. Um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about um, a uh, event coming up with Quad City Interfaith. Um, Quad City Interfaith is uh, we are a member or a church of Quad City Interfaith. We do pay some dues to be there, but that is supporting their good work. And then um, we also try to support when they are having something going on. The 26th of, of June. That's a Sunday afternoon. We are going to have a fundraiser, and it's going to be a scavenger hunt um, and uh, a picnic. So what you need to do or need to think about is for the scavenger hunt, we're going to do it by teams, and one car load is a team. So if you have two people in your car, that's a team. If you have 10 people in your car, that's a team. Um, yeah, the Yogi Van, that's yeah, a team. <laughs> um, it's it's uh, $45 for the team. So um, I, I will give you more information about it after church or at any point in time. But please, 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 um, at least have, a, have one team from MCC. And maybe more so we can have some friendly competition. Thank you. A uh, couple of things. Um, we're gonna have a church full of stuff all week long. So please bring your items this week, but also we need people to come and help unpack. So uh, we've got wonderful experienced folks that place and price and all that, and they definitely need help unpacking this week. So if you can come during the week, that would be great. Uh, there are Pride movies all month. It's a free movie at the Big E, uh, and uh, it's at 4 p.m. Tonight is a documentary, How to Survive a Plague, about the AIDS activists. And Pride Mic Night is the 12th at 5 p.m. So next Sunday night, come and plan on hearing wonderful, wonderful comedians, musicians. They've got a great lineup. So, and it's, it's uh, I think it's $5 admission, and then there will also be uh, food available for purchase. Finally, the next weekend is the Pride Parade, which begins at 4 o'clock. It's in Moline this year and will end at 5 at the Bass Street Landing Park. So it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Rich, I forgot that I promised uh, to, to say this. Um, for anyone who stays for potluck, after we're done eating, if, if you could help. Um, take some tables down and move them around, just move them around, move them around <laughs> so that they are prepared for unpacking and where to put everything when they start unpacking for the yard sale. So appreciate the extra help. Thanks. <laughs> okay, and this is the first Sunday of June, and so every first Sunday we honor our own. If you have a birthday, anniversary, or other special day you're celebrating during the month of June, please come forward for a blessing at this time. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> Hey. <laughs> 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 
What's the salt rate? Go ahead and start. There you go. On June 20th, I'll be till May. Woo! Here with my wife Ramona, and we just celebrated our 65th anniversary. For those of you that have shades, you might want to put them on with my white legs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. The month of June 1982, I became a member of this church, and on the 29th, my mother turns 95. Wow. Oh. Today is my birthday and I turned 30. Yeah! <laughs> On June 23rd, Deb and I will be celebrating four years. Okay, there's a good <laughs> celebration coming on here. Oh, yeah, that helps. <laughs> the 21st of June. I'll be 75 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Would you please join me in extending your hand in the sign of blessing? Holy, awesome God, what wonderful journeys. We thank you for where we have been and where you are taking us, where we have yet to go. We ask your rainbow blessings upon all of these precious souls and their journeys. In the name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Do I break the camera? You can be heard, you know. <laughs> If the ushers and greet will come forth for the giving of gifts. Oh God, I didn't even fill that out. <laughs> Alexander. Sheridan. 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 
shooting victims. Sorry. Ellen Graham. Annalise. Keegan. Our nation. Sherry and Mary. Our privilege. Prayers of thanks and blessings from Caesar. Amen. Test for souls. My niece Rhonda. Hear these, the prayers of your people, as we lift our voices together in song. <laughs> Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all of these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? <coughs> there were people there from Iran, Iraq, Judea, and many various regions of Turkey, Armenia, Russia, and Asia, Syria, Jordan, and Egypt, Libya, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and Gentiles, Cretans, and Arabs. And they exclaimed, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? Please rise, Lord, in body of spirit, as you are able. Hear this good news reading from John, chapter 14, verses 11 through 17. The words of Jesus. Believe me that I am in our God, and God is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you. The one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to be with God. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Creator may be glorified in the child of God. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. I will ask God, 
who will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This advocate is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees nor knows God. You know our God because God abides with you and the spirit of God will be in you. Here is the reading. community, but the power to unite all of humanity. There's a word that I want you to learn if you haven't learned it yet. It's called intersectionality. And intersectionality is the intersection, just like it sounds, right? And it is the realization that it's not just that I'm a minority in whatever way, it's that if any minority is oppressed, I am oppressed. Our colors have the power to cheer. So why is the rainbow the symbol for pride? Because you only see a rainbow when the sun comes out. Some of you will get my colors. <laughs> my Facebook post for this message contained a meme that showed what each of the colors in the new Progress Pride flag symbolize, which is a pyramid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Red, light, orange, healing, yellow, new ideas, green, prosperity, blue, serenity, violet, the spirit. For those who don't know what violet is, that's purple. Black, brown, people of color, white, pink, blue, the trans community. Let's give our colors a shout out. <laughs> More than that, bright colors themselves tend to make people smile. Yeah. Bold, bright, they remind us to be proud of who we are. Be different, because we're all different. Be you. Second, our colors have the power to unite LGBTQ folks in the world. 
I'm often invited to talk to organizations and classrooms about the LGBTQ community. And the one question I'm always asked is, well, what one thing can we do to make our businesses, our stores, offices, classrooms more welcoming to the LGBTQ community? And I answer that a fantastic start is to display a pride flag in your window or on your desk or wherever new folks coming in can easily see it. And I know from personal experience what a difference seeing that symbol makes on a window or a door. It brings a smile to me and I know that I'm safe there. Mm -hmm. And everyone deserves to know that they're safe. I smile, my mood brightens, I throw my shoulders back and I walk a little taller, all because I know that the persons on the other side value and welcome my community. And isn't that what Pentecost is all about? Did you hear all those names read? So this year I just updated the place names because nobody understands where Phrygia is anymore, right? Because it hasn't existed for like a thousand or more years. But we know the names of those modern countries that they were talking about. All those different countries, all those different people, people of different faiths. All were granted the power of the God's Holy Spirit. This flag is a statement about our human rights. And because of that, this statement, these colors, also have the power to unite humanity. Racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, and violent ideas have jumped from the fringes of our web pages and conversation to the mainstream of our social media and conversations, and it must end. Thank God we live in or near Illinois. But here's the thing. Hate and hating back will not drive back hate. Amen. Only love and understanding can repair the breaches in our society. And we are called to be repairers of the breach. And that's why I'm so proud that Rabbi Karp and I started the organization One Human Family. And when things get bad in Iowa or Illinois, we will not be silent. I knew I was going to be really tired today, but I'm so proud of this. I wanted to share with you in the messages and in the beauty of the bold, powerful words and music and images in this One Human Family video. Iowa is better than this. Yeah. 
these attempts to say that any island is less than or entitled to less protections and rights than any other island. Iowa has become a leader in the country in anti-LGBTQ plus legislation, especially taking aim at transgender children and youth. As we lament the legislative attacks on voting rights of Iowans, we tear this cloth as a symbol of how the moral fabric of our Iowa society has been torn by such actions. So let us proclaim Iowa. Iowa is better than this. The governor also signed a particularly egregious bill, House File 802, intended to stop schools from talking about racism and sexism in ways that are divisive. The law defines divisive concepts that cannot include, be included in the curriculum or training at Iowa schools or governmental agencies as those that make participants feel uncomfortable. Our current governor will call to assist the federal government in providing aid to immigrant children from the south of the border. He stated, this is not our problem. This is the president, president problem. He is the one that opened the border. He needs to, respond, to be responsible for this, and he needs to stop it. When I see children seeking safety and better life, we're blessed with a sponsored family in Iowa. Our government called for congressional investigation by the Senate Judiciary Committee, even though this resettlement did not cost the state a penny. As Iowans, it is our dubious distinction to have a front row seat to the dismantling of American democracy. For our state is one of our nation's leaders when it comes to enacting legislation that seeks to carve entire segments of our population out of the rights and freedoms that have been America's hallmark and a beaming light of hope for the rest of the world. Tonight, we have talked about and listened to a veritable litany of ways that our legislators, our legislature and governor have waged war on the rights of some Iowans to fully participate in the governance of our land. But talk alone does not affect social change. <clears throat> Actions do. If we commit to working for change and working together, we can help make Iowa better than this. Let me just say it's been my pleasure to be your MC tonight. Uh, we have a song. We will have a song now by Charlotte Blue. A change is going to come by Sam Cooke.
breath of God, the Holy Spirit, energize and renew your things. Holy One, wrap us in the Spirit's tether as together we pray in the manner Jesus taught his own disciples to pray. Our Creator in heaven all around us, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hear now the good news of Jesus the Christ. It doesn't matter where you've been, what you've done, where you are today, or where you think you might be headed. Our God is a God of love and forgiveness who runs to meet you with open arms. In the name of our Creator, Redeemer, and Holy Spirit, who are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Okay, remember what I said earlier. Sweet Jesus Christ, good times never felt so good. So good, so good, so good. Sweet Jesus Christ, good times never felt so good. So good. <laughs> God gives us so much. We have enough to eat every single day. We have enough to drink every single day. And yet we are an ungrateful people sometimes. Don't be like that. <laughs> On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he lifted the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to his friends, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my love poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. As often as you drink it, remember me. Holy One, bless these simple elements of fruit of the field and fruit of the vine in the many ways in which we celebrate and understand them in our diversity or fail to understand them at all. May they be soul foods for our spiritual journeys. In the name of Jesus, the joy giver. Amen. Precious and helpers will come forward at this time. This is God's table. It doesn't matter if you're a member of this church or any church. All are welcome to receive what God offers you here today.
most holy, awesome God. Thank you for the smiles. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for all of the vibrant colors of your rainbow. We ask your blessings on all that we have received, whether here or in the privacy of our homes, and on all that is yet to come. In the name of Jesus, the joy giver. Amen. Amen. Please rise, whether in body or spirit, as you are able for our closing hymn. <laughs>